We're always on the edge We fight and make love at the same time Would you break up just because I told you What I did last night I recall the times Okay, hippity hop little bunnies, we are in Malacca, which I always love, but I have just spent three days in the Doubletree Malacca, which I have been pleasantly surprised along the way. So in this video, I'm gonna give you tips on the best room, what to eat in a couple of the spots, and basically how to have the best sunset shots and all of that. But before anything, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. I am Wanda with Angela. I put out videos a couple times a week on the best places to eat, drink, play, and stay in Asia. Today that is in Malaysia, in Malacca, at the Double Tree. Let's get going. Okay, first of all, what you're seeing right now is just a sliver of my gorgeous suite. So when you start to shop around the different rooms here, look for the corner suite. I have these amazing sea views, city views, and a huge, massive, massive room that has been completely comforting and felt like home the entire time. I normally don't spend a ton of time in the living room. Um, in most of the suites, they just aren't as inviting, but I spent probably half my time here um, the sofa, I, I would lose juice on my laptop. So I was generally sitting uh, in that chair there because it hooked up close to an electrical outlet. I flipped the TV so I had some background noise, watched films as I was working, but I spent a ton of time in the living room. Now, I'm going to shut up and let you see the rest of the suite, but the wow factor is definitely the bathtub where I did a morning, like coffee relaxation uh, soak. I also ordered a glass of wine and chilled out and turned the, you know, the lights off and just watched the city. But take a look at this gorgeous suite. Oh, pay no mind. Pay no mind at all. So give me a chance to make it right. Just let me touch you like the first time. We don't need answers to survive. Let's keep on with the black guys Give me a chance to make it right Just let me touch you like the first time We don't need answers to survive Just let us keep on with the black guys really long time. Suites I, I prefer. Um, I like the space even though I'm one person because I'll end up spending a lot of time in bed with my laptop, which doesn't sound good on any level. Um, his name is Eduardo, by the way. I don't know why he's a he, but he has always been a he. Um, but here it was just, it was so nice. The only negative has been the weather, and I'm not even sure it's the weather, I think it's the haze that comes up from Indonesia. So unfortunately, all three days I was here, there wasn't one single moment of blue sky. So what you're seeing now uh, that I'm putting in are a couple of photos from their website that does show the miraculous view and how pretty it is, because I don't wanna show you this um, just because it, it only happens for X number of days a year and unfortunately we are in that couple week period right now. So it's beautiful. Now for sunset drinks you want to be downstairs at Tosca on the 13th floor. I had dinner and drinks there. It's next to the pool so if you were chilling at the pool you could have your cocktails and ease into sunset and it sets right over the pool so it's just beautiful. And Tosca always has a really nice variety of fresh and vegetarian and not vegetarian dishes. I tried a little bit of everything. There was an avocado salad, and I know that's crazy that a salad was my favorite, but there's an avocado salad that was divine, really, really yummy, with sun-dried tomatoes, and it was delicious. Definitely try that there. 
Now, for breakfast, if you follow my channel, you know I never go down to breakfast in the all-day dining room. For me, it busts my morning like energy that I want to have because it's generally like a lot of families, kids, chaotic. If that's you, the all-day dining place is gonna be perfect. Well, I don't know, I didn't actually go down there. I ordered breakfast in bed both days and they brought it on a tray and it was lovely and healthy and perfect. I highly recommend their in-room dining. I also ordered some, like some snacks and wine as well. So just, I mean, come on, like this suite is so gorgeous. I, it took a lot for me to just get the heck out and the entire three days I was here, I never left, no, I left the hotel just after I checked in because I checked in like late morning, but I didn't want to leave the property. But if you're visiting Malaga, of course you will. There's lots to see and do, but the in-room dining was awesome. Now, I also had cocktails down, uh, I think it's Axis Lounge is the name of it. And they were delicious. I had a their twist on a pina colada the first day. I tried a dirty martini, which is my staple. Generally, I always order a dirty martini, and that was delicious. And then I also tried, which I don't do ever, um, the buffet for dinner one night because I was I'm, I was really craving Indian food this week, and it's the Matan Kitchen. They had. Um, you know, food, from, they had the Nongsa station, I think there was a Thai station, and there was India, and so I went. I'm gonna give you tips on that, so stay tuned to the end. But it was very yummy, I enjoyed myself. I had um, some tandoori chicken, some naan, some dal, yum, 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 very good. So here are my tips on how to have the best day. First, get this suite. I am in 2107. It's a corner suite, so just whatever the 07 is on any of the floors, because the view is cityscape here, and then this way is sea view, and it's just perfection. And the bathtub, God, the bathtub. Get the suite. Tip number two, if you dine in the Makan kitchen and do the Indian food, be really sweet and go up because the guys, uh, the cooks, uh, I, I don't think they're sous chefs, but the cooks um, or the chefs behind the counter, if you ask them to cook up fresh bread and tell them you want to see it and shoot it for Instagram, they'll literally like pad out, roll out, and, and put in the tandoor oven the, um, the naan. So I did garlic naan, butter naan, and oh there was something else um but it was really yummy and i got to shoot video with them and it was great i did the same thing with the chicken um because they had tandoori chicken so i i asked them if they could take it fresh because they do have it in the buffet area but they actually pulled one of the chicken um off the the skewers re-skewered and then heated it back up again or i guess maybe completed cooking it because it was still insanely tender uh, in the oven and that was great they'll bring it to your table perfection my third and final tip if you get this sweet oh my god get the sweet call down to housekeeping and ask for the bath salts they aren't in the room when you arrive but if you ask for them they'll bring you a jar with, oh gosh I forgot to actually shoot video of that I'm so excited when they brought it I just dumped it all in um, they will bring kind of a, a, a container with bath salts and it's so nice my skin felt wonderful afterwards it smelled yummy I, I was really really happy with that the amenities in the suites are Crabtree and Evelyn as well so you'll love that all right well if you have any questions leave a comment down below if you've been here and have some advice for other travelers who were considering coming leave it down below as well if i've missed anything and as always just keep on traveling have a wonderful day i will see you guys at the next one ciao